Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. Let's see what's going on for you at the time you watch this video. What do you need to know for your highest good? As always, keep in mind, take what resonates as it resonates with you. Trust your own discernment. And thank you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your feedback. For subscribing. For being kind to me, yourselves, and each other. Alright, we're just going to dive in. Check out your weekly. That's available to you. Any other weekly, you got work focus readings, love focus readings, you versus them, just have a look on the channel. I'll link some playlists at the end of the video for you. So let's begin. What's going on for Pisces? Bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Five of Wands. This could be um, a busy day, a busy social day. Um, you could also be taking part in some sort of activity that involves other people, whether it's an actual competition or it's some sort of contest or application process. Um, but there could be some... <coughs> It's not always a bad thing with the Five of Wands. This could be play fighting. This could be um, trying to just get your idea to be chosen or your voice to be heard, okay? Speaking of which. Oh, sorry. My voice. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. We have the tower with the five of wands. All right, so in today's energy, there's something happening with the tower, unexpected, big, and it just creates a little bit of chaos with the five of wands, where, you know where people are just kind of scrambling after some big news is dropped? Like, what the hell is this? And what is this gonna mean? And how, how are things gonna change? And it's that, it's a bit of a manic energy. It can be, if we let it, okay? Recently, Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm, I'm going to need more information because for some of you, you put yourself out there and you put it yourself out there somehow and the, the tower hitting is something unexpected happens with that. So if you were not expecting to hear back from someone, you're hearing back from them. Um, but I also get something unexpected in the sense of how they're pursuing you. Like you might have expected them to reply or respond, but it's, it's almost like someone's really like coming at you, okay, with the tower and you're like, whoa, like wait a minute, I didn't wait, hold on. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting with the five of wands. Like, I just, I just, I just said you're cute. Like, I didn't ask you to, and this, they're not talking to you about, okay, I've planned our next 10 dates, and, you know, it'd be great if we could go on this trip together, and you're, and you're just like, I just, I just said I thought you're cute. Like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> you know, it's that sort of energy. Uh, you applied for a job thinking, you know what, yeah, I'll apply for this. I'll probably not hear back till about January because, you know, with the holidays coming up. Um, so that'll give me some time. Like you haven't really made up your mind or you don't really have a plan yet because you expect things to take a lot longer, right? And they're getting back to you today. Like Pisces, this is perfect. We want you. When can you start? Can you start tomorrow? And you're like, wait a minute. Like, hold on. Wait. That's a hold on, right? That kind of energy. For some of you, something that you've recently started is being restructured somehow. And it could be to do with the home. Okay. This could also be surprise pregnancy for some. Where is it going? Where is it taking us? It's taking us to justice, which is fair enough, right? Because, no pun intended, but um, the justice card here is saying this is something that is meant to be and it's happening as it's meant to be happening. 
you deserve this now. You don't deserve this in five months. You don't have to wait. You deserve this now. You're getting it now. So this could be whatever this massive change is, it leads to new contracts, new terms and conditions, new commitments. Could also be ending certain terms and conditions in order to start something new. But again, I feel the feeling that I'm getting is you thought this was going to take longer. That's the tower. You thought this was going to take longer. And you're like, yeah, that'd be nice. I'm working my way up to it. I don't really have a plan. I'm starting it now because I anticipate it will be a few weeks until I actually hear back and I can actually do something about it. And by that point, I'll have a plan. And it's like, no, it's here now. Go, go, go. And you're saying, hold your horses. Like, wait a minute. I didn't hold on. But the thing is, if that's the situation, the energy of, of these cards is saying, if you just go with it, things will fall into, like, you don't need to have a plan. The, there is a plan behind this. There is a higher plan behind this, right? All you got to do is just go with it as best as you can. So if someone's really chasing you, pursuing you, and you thought it would be a few months before you'd be able to do anything, make a change, make a transition, and they're like really pursuing you now, this is saying, you know, it's happening because you're ready. It's happening because this is the right time. This is the right way. So if you just entertain it, that's what it means to just go with it, right? Just entertaining. Oh, okay, tell me more about it. Well, you know, I wasn't ready to leave. So these are my concerns. Talk to them because they'll be able to help you, right? and make a transition that would have been potentially a lot more difficult down the line, make it a lot smoother for you. They could give you ideas, they could give you tips and suggestions, they could give you money to help you with the transition, because you're like, well, if I leave this contract early, I'm gonna have to pay them back this, or I'll miss out on this amount in my bonus, or I'll miss out on this, and I was counting on that for Christmas or something, right? And they're going, well, what if we gave you an advance? What if we gave you this? What if we gave you that, right? And you're like, oh, be all that sounds perfect right I like it I like it okay okay <laughs> um, let's get more cards out what's this tower in today's energy what else can we know about it the wheel of fortune I'm telling you and the ten of wands yeah this is happening it's something where you're planning for this change or you're kind of opening up to the notion of changing something, walking away from something, putting down a burden, and changing to 10 cycles, right? Ending completions. But in your mind, it, this is further down the line, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this relationship at this at some point. Um, you've started to take steps towards it. You've started making up your, your mind, making peace with it. You just, you're like, I'm just gonna wait for the right time to have the conversation. And it somehow happens. It just comes up, right? And you'll be, there will be a moment where you just feel like I should just say it now. Trust it. Go with it. That's what that is, right? Or I plan to change my job. But again, it's probably not the right time, right before the holidays, you know. But you still, you sent out applications or you put your resume out there. Or you click the box that says that people can contact you if they have offers or opportunities, right? And in your mind, it's like, well, nothing's going to happen. I'll, it will be a, a while or it will be um, it will take some time. It will need some work. It will need some time. Right. Work effort with the Ten of Wands to make this change with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and that's the feeling that I'm getting. You think this is something where you're telling yourself it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. I don't actually have a plan for it, but it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So by the time it happens, I will, I'll come up with a plan, right? That's what, that's the situation. But look at all these majors. So what's the Ace of Cups in the past? The world, universe, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, you took initiative and in, initiative in a situation. You started something, put something out there. This could also be recognition of some sort of, of completion. If it's a course, if it's a training program, if it's life lessons, I don't know. Um, 
achieving a goal, achieving a milestone, but also make you feeling very confident within yourself. But this could also be where someone said something to you. And it, almost like it planted an idea in your head. And that's where you went, well, yeah, that would be great, but a lot of work would have to go into that. Expecting it, you know, we'll pick it back up later because I'm not in a position to do this now. But that idea stayed with you. And now they're following up. And they're like, Pisces, this is ready now if you want to jump on board. Like, I went and sorted everything out. If, if you want to, all you got to do is jump on board. That's all you got to do. I did it for you. I did everything else for you. It's that kind of an energy. Okay, so let's see. The Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands, which follows the Ten of Wands. The Knight of Swords, here's again that speed energy. And the Nine of Swords, you're like, are you sure? Are we, like, I, what, how, wait a minute, right? And they're like, everything's done. Everything's aligned. All you got to do is sign, right? All you got to do is sign the paperwork. And you're saying, this is, this is too fast. I'm going to need a minute. Like, I'm going to need some time. Let me think about it. I don't, what else, what do I have to do? I don't know what I'm committing to. And they're just saying, listen, everything we talked about, everything you, you said you needed, it's done. It's in the paperwork. Read the paperwork. It's all there. Let us know if we missed anything. This could have even been a, a, an informal meeting with someone. You met up at a party, you met up at an event, you met up at some sort of gathering. There was drinks involved, right? And you were all chill, and this person was telling me about what they do, and you were talking about what you do, and it came up, like you, you said, listen, if you ever have a job opening, you contact me, because what you do sounds amazing. And now here they are going, Pisces, do you remember when we had that conversation? well, we have this job opening and you'd be perfect for it. And you told me to let you know, so we haven't even put it on the market yet. I'm going to offer it to you directly. If you say yes, all you got to do is say yes. You know, because you talked about, you talked about it in theory at this informal event, right? So what do you do? How would you do that? What kind of systems do you use? Oh, that'd be good. That'd be cool. Yeah, I got some experience with that. I know what you're talking about. And they're like, you, you got everything. That was basically an interview. You just didn't know it was an interview. And maybe neither the day, right? You were just talking. And now with the, what's kind of putting you <laughs> on the back foot a little bit is the speed of everything. I get this energy and I, I picked it up recently in one of your readings where you just said something, you just did something, you just put something out there and, and thought nothing of it. And someone really took it and ran with it, and they're about to make it a reality, right? You just, this is, um, what's this, what's, what's they say? I don't know, but something to the effect of you were just flirting and being cute, and this person is now asking you to marry them because they're completely besotted with you, right? Okay, so that's the energy that I'm seeing. That's what's up, that's what's happening. So where is this going to go for Pisces with the Justice card? The Magician, King of Swords, official conversations, official communications, further meetings, further interviews, uh, meetings to go over paperwork, meetings to go over terms and conditions. They're like, listen, you take this contract away and you go read it. You talk to someone. You get someone to look at it if you want to. Because we understand, yes, this kind of comes up out of the blue and we do need to move fast on it. So you, can need, you get all the advice you need and let us know, okay? Or this is that person asking you out on a date. But it's a case of Pisces. It, this is good. This is great. This is what you wanted. But it's almost like you were afraid to even ask for it. So, for example, this is, if this is a new person... And I get like foreign culture, foreign land, someone speaking a different language or someone growing up in a different country or um, they just have a different background than you or um, someone who travels a lot, used to travel a lot. I also hear like the eternal bachelor or bachelorette for some of you. 
And again, you met this person at some sort of gathering event, there's drinks involved. Um, and you were just flirting being cute, I'm telling you. And there is a, a, a deep connection here with all these major arcana cards that I'm looking at. It was a faded encounter, it was a faded event. For some, that was love at first sight, whether it's for you or for them, for them definitely. Okay, whoever's doing the pursuing here, it was love at first sight for them. And maybe they used to travel a lot, or they travel a lot for work, or they they live in a different area, in a different location. So you were just you thought it would never go anywhere, right? That's that's what you thought. And here they come saying, Pisces, I've moved. I live a lot closer to you. I want to do this with you. Let's go out. Let's talk everything out, right? Let's make some plans. And you're just, your mind is blown because it's like, did you move because I flirt? I, is that what it is? Because that seems a little crazy. But is it though? I don't know, right? It's one of them where you're like, oh, if only you lived closer. And something happened on their end. Because remember, we have the Wheel of Fortune at play here with the tower. Something happened on their end where an opportunity came up for them to actually move. And they're like, this is perfect. Okay, I don't really get someone because that is a little crazy, you know, if you just flirt with someone and they live like two cities away, two states away. And then the next thing, you know, they moved because you flirted with them. That's a bit intense. I get it. But for some of you, I don't know, because you do have this nine of swords here of what the hell is happening. Like, wait a minute. Disbelief. Hold your horses. Right. Or if this is someone who was in a relationship when you met them and you had conversations of, oh, if only you were single, you know we like the same things and we have the same sense of humor and we'd be going here and we'd be going there and we'd be traveling together because we both like that kind of stuff and whatever right and now here they are hey pisces i'm single <laughs> you know remember all those conversations we had can we do that then let's do that thing asking you out to just explain to clarify to take you through everything that happened king of swords right this is you applying for a loan or a mortgage or something thinking it'll be months before i hear back yes i've got this property but that i love but you know there's no way i'm going to hear back in time so i'm just going to just get myself out there right and here they come like pisces yeah you got approved here's the paperwork and you're saying, wait a minute, I'm not exactly, I don't, f I don't feel like I'm ready to move just yet. Like I thought it would be a while, but it's right in front of you. If you sign the paperwork, right, it's going to go through. You'll win that bid, you'll own that place, or you'll be renting that place by the end of the year. Like it's that kind of energy with the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. What else? We have the Lovers. The Two of Cups, seriously. The Death card, this will change your life. This is a relationship now, whether it's personal, professional, romantic, that will change your life. We have the lovers that I need to cover up with the Two of Cups. I mean, come on now. Talk about meant to be. And the Death card, the end of a cycle. And that could be, this, again, this could be moving for a lot of you. The end of a cycle of being single. The end of a cycle of being with the wrong people. The end of a cycle of searching. The end of a cycle of going from one thing to another. This is settle down energy. Putting down roots with someone, with something. Wow, Pisces. Pisces, wow. I don't even know what to say. Under the Five of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this is something that you really want, but you thought it was going to take a long time or it was going to take a hell of a lot longer than what it is. That's your pause. That's like, I, I don't know what the plan is. I don't have a plan. And they're like, you don't need a plan. It's all done. All you got to do is say yes. All you got to do is sign. Seven of Wands, yeah. You're like, wait a minute. Hold your horses temperance give me some time to think about it right and this could also be confirming it's about a partnership it's about a union sagittarius energy eight of cups strength you're like i i need more time because i'm not sure i don't feel ready to walk away from what i need to walk away 
from to start this thing. But with the strength card here, they're saying, well, you, you, yeah, you are. You are ready. The emperor, you're ready. The star. All right, Pisces. So uh, this is pretty awesome. This is a pretty epic reading. But that's that's literally what I'm getting. You know, when you see these memes or whatever they're called um, of a woman in a wedding dress and she's just sitting there thinking, I just when you when you flirt or when you just flirt and you end up getting married or something like that, right? It's that kind of energy. You just put yourself out there. You just started something. You were just talking. You were just whatever, thinking this is never going to happen. Or if it is going to happen, it's going to take forever, right? Because they're in that other thing. Because that other contract's in the way. Because I'm in a contract or I'm in a commitment. Because it's the holidays coming up. So everyone's just going off on holidays. It will take forever. I'll hear about th this in January, February next year or something, right? And it's like, boom, it is here. Do you want it? Okay. Because this is something you've manifested. And now it's like, <laughs> it's about to get real. And you're going, wait, hold on. What, what, what now? What happened? What I do? Hold on, I feel like there's one more. For Pisces, any more in, um, Oracle energy and advice? For Pisces, any more Oracle energy and advice for Pisces when it comes to this situation? Mama Mia, okay. I'll take that one because that one flipped over. And we'll put these back. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have, listen to me. I can't make it up. Crazy lace agate and sunflower. Play. More fun, jokes, and laughter, please. But note the word crazy. You'll be saying this is crazy. This is crazy. That's what you'll be saying when it comes to this and how it happens. Right? But with the play energy, this is saying, again, just have fun with it. Be lighthearted with it. And also, it's also saying you were just playing. Like you were just playing. You were just having fun. You were just cracking jokes. And it leads to this amazing thing. And you're like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it. I'm loving it though. Because that's such a Pisces thing. That is such a Pisces thing. We are such strong manifestors when we don't have an attachment to an outcome. Not just Pisces, in general, when we don't have a, an attachment to an outcome, things happen, especially for Pisces, so fast, right? When we're in this playful energy, and whatever happens, happens. It happens almost instantly, and that's exactly what I'm looking at here, okay? This is the way around it was. Hold on, I want to get them in order. Not that it matters. Um, Lilac Spirit Quartz, Community, Healing Division, Teamwork, Freedom. Yeah, this is something coming in. This is like very clear instructions, very clear intentions, very clear communication. An offer to be part of a new team, to be part of a new partnership, to be part of a new community. It brings you freedom from stress, freedom from burden, freedom from an endless cycle of, again, searching. Anandalite and lemon balm, integrating energies, awakening, transitioning. That's like um, temperance with integration, magician energy, awakening and transitioning. It's a new path in front of you that you've manifested because you were not attached to this outcome in, in the slightest. You thought it was never gonna happen, or it, if it ever does happen, it'll be months away, if not further, right? And you're like, I can just have fun with it then. It's, not, it's never gonna lead to anything, I just have fun, right? You know when it's like you meet someone and you, 
you know nothing's going to happen between the two of you because they're with someone else, for example, right? You have that knowing of nothing's ever going to happen anyway. So I don't have to like try to impress this person. I don't have to be careful of my words and how I behave because what if I spook them or what if they don't like me or you know what I mean? And you're just yourself and you're having a ball. Well, that person, let me tell you, they fell in love with you right there and they're coming to tell you, hey, I'm no longer in that other thing. I really want to date you. Like no joke about it. And you're like, what? Hold on, what? It's that kind of an energy where you were in a situation where you thought it was never gonna lead to anything and you just you were completely yourself, you really, like someone fell in love with you, literally, or someone just was so impressed with you, if it's on a personal level or a professional level or whatever it is, and it could be a situation where people usually try to impress this person and you were just yourself. You're like, I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care you're famous. Like, I'm just having a ball, right? I'm just treating you like you're my best friend today and we're just cracking jokes. You might have even cracked some jokes at their expense, lightheartedly and fun and everything, but they're like, oh my God, this never happens to me because everyone's on eggshells around me usually or everyone's trying to impress me usually. And you're like, I don't care who you are, dude. <laughs> like, I don't even know your name. I don't really care. Uh, you seem to have a good sense of humor. Let's crack some jokes, right? Let me buy a drink. Oh my God, that's that's so funny. And it, it could so easily happen. Like, just thinking about myself, I have my head up my eye, uh, you know, I, let's say head in the clouds sometimes. And like, I just don't know who people are sometimes. I just don't, or I don't realize it in the moment. And I'm just being myself and a complete idiot because, you know, cracking jokes, I think I'm funny. And then people come up to me and like, oh my God, you were talking to such and such. That's the director of such and such. And I'm like, oh my God, I cracked some dirty jokes. I think that was inappropriate. I didn't know who they were. Because remember, this is like a, a gathering, a party, a social thing. You have no indication, right? That that is someone important over there, right? Or that's the bachelor that everyone's after. They're like, I don't, I don't care who you are, dude. I don't know your name. I don't, I don't care for your name. Let's just, you're funny. Let's just, you know. It's that kind of energy. That is hilarious, though. Turquoise and forget-me-not. Balance. Cracking open. Oh, speaking of cracking jokes, I did not read this. I swear to God. Deep healing, balancing karma. This is you getting beautiful karma. It's manifestation. You asked and you're receiving. You put yourself out there in the right energy of completely being open, no expectation, no attachment to an outcome, and you are receiving fast. I am so loving this energy. The Green Man and Moss Agate, a ritual and ceremony, new spirit guides, tree wisdom. Oh, I saw this card the other day. I swear to God, that's not what I read on it. Anyway. Speaking of me with my head in the clouds. Yeah. Now, this is someone who might wants to make something official with you. Okay. If it's offering you the job, if it's offering you the promotion, if it's making you sign paperwork and going through with the, a sale or a purchase, or um, if it's offering you a new relationship, this, let me tell you, if this is in love life, this person's already mapped out their future with you. Like they're that serious and that convinced. And you're just sitting there thinking, I, okay. I mean, oh yeah, I like, I like you, but I'm, I, <laughs> you know, like you seem to like me a lot more than I like. That's what it feels like. Like you seem to have thought about this a lot longer than what I have been thinking about it. And I don't, hold on, you give me a minute to catch up, right? But this is awesome. This is awesome. I don't know how else to say it. Like you have the lovers with the two of cups and the death card. This is your forever person. This is... A business that you're starting that is going to be very lucrative for you, very prosperous for you. You'll never go back to a nine to five again, right? It's that kind of a transition. This is putting down roots. The relationship that changes your life. If it's a romantic one, if it's a professional one. If it's between you and a company or you know what I mean? 
this is the relationship that changes your life. And I can't get over the fact that you just messed around and were yourself, never thinking it would lead to anything. You weren't trying. You weren't trying to impress anyone. You weren't trying to pursue anything because you, you already told yourself it's never going to happen. So you're like, I don't care. I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to impress nobody, right? And you know what? Actually, when I passed my driver's test years and years ago, um, this was after a few attempts, mine. And I had, I just touched a curb, but it one of those, one of them dropped curbs, like barely even there. But over here in the UK, like if you climb a curb, that's a fail. And at the time it was, I don't know, it might've changed. Um, and I just touched it, but I don't, in my mind, that's it, I failed, right? And I asked the guy, and the guy, obviously they can't tell you, they have to let you do complete it, right? I'm like, I just failed, didn't I? And he's like, let's, let's just keep going, let's just, you know, just drive on. And I'm like, no, but I just failed, I'm sure I failed. And I literally did not give a rat's behind. I had no nerves, I had no nothing, because I'm like, I'm sure I failed, why even bother, you know? And I passed. <laughs> And I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, are you serious? This is crazy. And he's like, I can change my mind. I'm like, no, 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 I'll take it. Thank you, thank you, and goodbye. But it's that kind of an energy. That's what it reminds me of. So I wanted to give you an example so that you can understand what I'm trying to say, hopefully. Um, and I just get this, I get the sense that for some of you, this is a famous person that you did not try to impress in the slightest because you were like, I don't even know who this is. To you, it was just a regular Joe or a regular Jolene, right? You just didn't realize this is a famous person or you just didn't realize that this is an important person. So you didn't try to impress them. You didn't try to like hide who you are because you know, don't do too much because you know, whatever. And they are, they're like, we want Pisces. I want Pisces. Okay, but this is awesome. This is beautiful. I don't think you know what this is, so I'm not even going to try to ask you what this is. If you're like further down the line and this has already happened for you, let us know. But for the most part, you do not see this coming. Like you got no clue because again, you have no expectations about this thing. I feel like you don't even realize what you did <laughs> and how, how, how you impressed someone recently. It's at some gathering, at some sort of event, something social, something informal. There's drinks, there's food, there's dancing, okay? Um, yeah, with that king of wands in the world, there's, you're definitely dealing with someone who's famous for some of you, even if it's like locally known but for others of you, they're like famous somewhere else. It hasn't quite, they're not as famous over here, so you don't know of them. But it could be an artist of some sort, okay? Someone who's on a stage. If it's not an artist, they're on a stage. People listen to them. People follow them. They have a following, right? For some of you, that's a very specific message. And you're like, I don't, you don't even know who this was. And you were just, hey, dude, let's dance. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink or cracking jokes. I feel like you made a joke that was really funny. It was kind of at their expense, but it was really funny and in good taste. And they're like, oh my God, no one ever takes a shot at me. You know, cause obviously they're afraid of whatever. And they just looked at you like, I, I have never met anyone like you. I've never met anyone like you. And this could be, again, you're just talking. You're just telling them stuff about yourself. You're not trying to sell yourself or promote yourself, or which is what people would usually do with this person. And that's the feeling that I'm getting, you know? And here they are coming to you with some sort of very solid, serious offer. Oh my God, I can't wait to see what this is. All right, let's do fortune cookies. You can pick a number between one and three. You can set your intention to receive messages from all three or two numbers. I don't know. Trust your own guidance and intuition. This could be in addition to the reading, confirming the reading, adding to the reading. This could be standalone messages to help you through your day. Or it could uh, be something that answers a question. 
you might have had in the back of your mind. Bottom of the deck, we have difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Under this, we have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So it's just a bit of a, for some of you, just a bit of a heads up. Something to consider. All right, if you chose number one, we have jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Number two, we have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. And if you chose number three, we have health, an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Okay. Pisces, that is what I have for us today. What a doozy of a reading. I can't wait to see this play out. Okay. And remember, time is fluid. It doesn't happen today. For some of you, it's already happened. It's in the process of happening. For others, it's coming in. Give it a day or two. But... Again, it's going to be unexpected, so I can't even put a time frame on it. It'll be around this time, okay? <laughs> but it'll happen unexpectedly for you. Um, but when you know what this is, come back and comment and let me know, okay? Because this is amazing energy. So I'm going to leave it there because I don't know what else to say. Have a, have a fantastic day, I guess. Uh, and, um, yeah, I just, I just seeing you sitting there staring into nothing going, this is crazy. Like, this is insane. Like, this never happens. Like, what? I, and you're going to do that for five minutes, and then you'll be like, okay. What did you want to say? Say that again. Let me bring it by me again. Let's, okay, let's talk. King of Swords, let's, all right. I'm, I'm okay now. I'm good. <laughs> you know, the shock wears off, and you're like, okay, tell me more about it now. Let's, I'm, I'm okay. Right? Oh my God, this is amazing. All right, I'll leave it there. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.